10. Well, we saw a shot like that. I forget who played it now. It was Cara Wilson in the Masters. Yeah, and it was identical. Yeah, first, I think it was the first frame. It might have been the first ball he potted. In fact, I think this was more difficult. I think he could get his hand on the table, Karen, but what a terrific... Wow, that's one way to dig yourself out of a hole. Well, that's what he's got in his armoury, isn't he? The ability to knock those in. Like you say, he's in a, a bit of trouble here. I mean, of course, if he misses it, we say, well, it, maybe it wasn't a very good shot to play. But there was an element, I think, of getting the cue ball out of there. But he's certainly a way of getting back in. He's got to watch his back arm here. He's going to come very close to the pink. It's great to have that, you know, you're in a lot of trouble and you see no safety shot and you think, well... Nine. Fifteen. <laughs> Sequence is broken now. What about this? Well, it's a great shot, but the black's not hanging over the pocket, is it? Could be the difference between a five frame gap and just three. And he's got it off the far jaw. More misery for Jack Lazowski. That first ranking title is looking a long way away right now as Judd Trump turns the screw. Terrific brightness from Trump. He belatedly springs to life. Oh, what a pot he's played there. Well, we talked about the red against Ding. That might just have eclipsed it. Well, that brought a smile to both Judd and Barry Hawk. Talk about naughty snooker. This was ridiculous. A thousand times and it wouldn't finish like that. Even Barry had to laugh and shake his head at that one. Yeah. 